Hey everyone, welcome back to Neat Shorts. So a lot of you have asked that uh, you have a backlog and you want to cover that backlog along with your usual studies. So I will tell you what worked for me and how I did some of the backlog which got created because I was sick for uh, at least two three weeks. So my coffee backlog create was inorganic. Mein. But this is something that you might get help and you can apply for every other aspect. So before that, please subscribe to the channel if you like this video and please share it with your friends. So basically what I did is that my backlog tha, uh, in organic ka because I felt sick around March, April and I had not studied for 2-3 weeks. So what I did, I kept studying for whatever I was doing regularly but I took up uh, chunks of it like for example I missed my entire S block and metallurgy and P block classes and so I picked up one group each day and I studied extra like I had to take out one hour extra from every day schedule and I had to basically cover that thing up okay but let's say ki um, your backlog is created out of 11 standard portion which is directly linked to 12 standard so uske liye, you have to first cover your backlog pick up the portion divided into let's say five ch chunks or six chunks or ten chunks depends how much you have missed start doing it side by side i know it sounds very easy and it is uh, easier said than done but honestly there is no other option because you have to cover it up okay so you can do that you have studied today you have studied that too you have studied and you are balancing it out if you divide the chapter chapter or if you divide the portion in multiple parts it won't feel like a burden and let's say ki Sunday aapki class nahi hai suppose that means you are saving those extra 8 hours or 7 hours or 3 hours of that class so use that portion to cover the backlog okay second I would say that if you have backlog please uh, make sure that you're first covering the backlog and then spending random time suppose you are let's say watching 2 hours of TV every day example so cut it down to one and a half hours, one hour, half an hour. Matlab ye to karna hi padega na. If you are spending uh, one hour on YouTube, please reduce your time. Because I see a lot of you commenting on YouTube saying that uh, I have a backlog. And then you also comment saying that, oh, I'm wasting time on YouTube. I don't understand. If you have backlog, how do you have time to do YouTube, right? So either you have to start burning the extra amount of time and you have to cover the backlog. There is no other option. Second, I would say that if there is a portion which is a backlog but it is not related to any other portion that can be done at the end also but it depends if it is not important then push it to the end for example i had a backlog of uh, polymers also okay but polymers is still manageable so i did it at the end okay after i completed everything else and whenever i found the time but let's say some chapter is very important if you have a backlog in electrostatics you cannot do it at the end because it's so important that there will questions aayenge, right so the only option of doing it is either take out extra time every day, reduce your social media time, reduce your time pass time because you cover your backlog in 15 days, 20 days, you can cover your backlog and then you resume it slowly and don't do it as a burden with that thing psychologically that my backlog is my backlog. Hai. Divide and conquer. Okay? Divide the most important part and the most relevant part is that without it you are not able to move forward. Do that part first because if you don't do this part first, the next part you will not understand. You cannot proceed forward with, uh, let's say, magnetism, alternating current if you don't understand or even like electromagnetic induction if you don't understand the basics of magnetism, right? So you have to cover that magnetism on a part first. So make sure that you, you divide and you basically do the backlog along with your daily studies. Either you can, what you can do is, let's say you, you do 40 questions of each chapter every day. So maybe you can do 30 and cover the rest 10 questions ki jagah pe you can cover the backlog portion as well okay so this is just a small tip i don't know how much it will work for you and maybe it may not be relevant but this is what worked for me and i thought ki i'll share it with you i hope this helps uh, let me know if there is anything uh, else that i'm missing out i'll make a video on it soon bye